Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Publer. My name is Jorgo and today we are going to take a look at how to use analytics to its fullest potential on Publer. Definitely one of my favorite features that we have here on Publer. You can do anything with analytics. You can track your posts and see how they're doing in all of your social media accounts. You can track all the posts for a specific team or workspace in Publer for all the social accounts that you have in that workspace. You can sync the insights so that you view them in real time. You can download the PDF reports and then send them to your clients or save them if you need to keep track of them. You can also rank and filter the insights so that you can take a better look at which posts are performing better and which ones are not. So we're going to dive into all of that. So let's start right away. First, we are going to go to analytics right here and then as you can see, we have all the social accounts here on the left. Let's just choose one account for now. So let's go with Facebook. Great. So let's choose to see the analytics for our Facebook account here on the left. So I'm going to search for Facebook and then I'm going to select it. Um, specifically, I am currently looking at last month's analytics, but I can choose to look at the past seven days at today, this week, last week, this month last month or for a custom range. So instead, let's just go for that. Let's choose a custom range and let's say I don't want to look at the whole November, but just half of it. So the last two weeks of November from November 15th to um, November 30th. Click on save. And we're going to see that we had a total of 12 published posts for that period. You can also choose to see how many posts there were for a specific member. So if you have a lot of members, in our case, we only have one, but if you had a lot of members, you can see um, all the posts per member and how many were posted for each member. Um, so for now, let's keep all members. And then if I scroll down, um, I can take a look at all of the insights that we have gathered here. So we have the page likes, which in the beginning of this period um, on November 15th were about 13,128. And by the end, it goes closer to 13.2K. So there was a, a, an average of 0.46% um, rise in terms of likes for this page. Talking about, um, they're it's increased by 150% from the beginning of this period to the end. So we know that we've done a good job um, getting people to talk about this page and with our posts. Then we can take a look at the demographics for all of the posts for this specific account. So we have gender, we have age, we have top cities and top countries. About 63% of our audience was male, um, about 37% was female and the rest was uh, different unknown gender. Regarding the age groups, we have different percentages for the age groups as well. So for each age group, for example, for from 25 to 34, you can see um, how many were female and how many were male. So about 28% were male and about 10% were female um, for the age group 25 to 34 and so on for each specific age group. You can also see the top cities and the top countries. Um, the top city on our list here was Tirana, the capital of Albania. Um, but the top country was actually the United States of America. This explains or shows in, in, in a graph um, what the post reach was for this specific period. So in the beginning, actually, of the period, there was no reach because we weren't posting. But then as soon as we started posting, you know, the reach number goes higher. And then there's a moment when it goes low to 250 and then it goes back up. And the same thing um, regarding the post engagement. So what engagement is, is actually the likes, the shares, the comments, all the reactions in the posts, um, the clicks as well. Um, so th th that would be the post engagement. And the post reach, that would be how many people actually saw this post or how many people it reached. Then we have video views, which is just a specific category for all the videos that you posted. Um, this is 26 video views in total for this specific period. Um, the link clicks, also just referring to how many people clicked on the links that you posted for those um, specific for the specific time period. So if I if I take a look at November 26th, I can see that the post that I posted on the day had actually four link clicks. So I can maybe work on how to engage the audience a little bit and you know ask them to follow up with links. Maybe put a little call to action at the end of the at the end of the post. And my favorite part of all of analytics is this specific insight, which is the best times to post 
um, you can see for each day of the week and for each specific hour and time of the day um, posts and how they performed. So if it's a light green, that means that it didn't really perform well. But if it's a very dark green, then it's definitely one of the best times to post for you, at least for this specific period. So we know that our audience is definitely very active on, on Thursdays at 3 p.m. So we might want to use that to our advantage. You can also create a post instantly here. So if you go to that time slot and then click on create post, you'll be able to start creating your post just like you would on the composer in Publer. Or maybe create a draft so that you can save this in your drafts and keep track and say, you know, definitely uh, best time to post. Create some posts on this time and then you click on draft and it will be saved for this specific time on Thursday for next week as a draft of course so that you can go back to it and then see it and then you know have your team members follow up and create some creative posts for that time and date um, so yeah you can you can definitely use this graph here to create any posts for some of the times that you find to be the best for your audience then this other graph here is just a little graph that shows all of the published posts, the one in blue, and all of the failed posts, which were zero in our case. And if you currently have any scheduled posts, you would be able to see another line, which would be in green, and that would represent the scheduled posts. Last but not least is the post insights, which is updated daily. So here I can take a look at the reach in more detail, the reactions, comments, shares, and post clicks, which is the engagement, as mentioned earlier and the link clicks or the video views for a specific post. Um, so if I want to rank the posts based on which time they were posted, if I click on this little arrow here, then it's going to show me the posts in an ascending order. So 15th of November, 16th of November, and so on. So that's kind of for you to have a better view of all of your posts in an ascending or descending order, depending on your liking. Now, the same thing happens when you try to filter based on reach or based on engagement. So if I click on the reach um, drop down, then it will show me all of the posts and from the ones that were not performing so well to the ones that were best performing and had the highest reach. I can also do the opposite and have them show me um, in descending order the posts with uh, the highest reach and then at the end the posts with the lowest reach. Same thing goes for engagement. So yeah, you can use these filters or, or ranking systems to help you get a better idea of which posts are performing better and to easily track and, and easily see which ones are performing better. So all in all, it's just a very nicely composed view of seeing how all of your posts for a specific account are performing. Now each account, so if you, we would go to a LinkedIn account, for example, each account has different analytics because not all accounts have the same analytics. So for LinkedIn, um, let's choose a different range. Let's go to from the beginning of November to the end of November. So that would be last month um, since we're currently in December. We will be able to see followers instead of page likes because it is a LinkedIn page or a profile. They both have followers. We will be able to see the post reach, the top countries, post engagement, video views, link clicks, and we're missing some of the categories here if you did notice. That's because due to technical limitations and due to the API limitations, not all of the analytics are supported. So each specific social network will have specific insights that they do um, show. You can also see best times to post, however. Um, we see that we have a little different best time to post for LinkedIn. Now that would differ, of course, because this is a different um, period of time. So it's the whole last month. And also it's a few more posts than what there were on Facebook. So everything is, you know, according to, to the settings that you choose. At the end here, we also have the post insights. You can view all of them uh, based on which one had our highest reach um, or our lowest reach to the highest reach and how we like. So that you can keep better track of everything. Um, if we go to engagement here, um, the blue button or the blue tab actually, it shows you the link clicks or the video views and then the green one shows the likes or the comments or the shares. So let's go to a post that had, there we go. So this post had 47 likes, two comments and two shares. Um, quite a good engagement actually for, for LinkedIn. 
So that's definitely the overview of insights and analytics on Publer. Now, there are some other things that you can do with insights and analytics on Publer as well. First of all, I'm sure you notice this little button here, which says sync insights. Now this allows me to take a look at the insights in real time. So I'll be able to see what the insights are right now. However, it doesn't matter how many times I try to sync insights throughout the day, they won't be synced until the next day because they do take 24 hours to be synced and we automatically do sync them every 24 hours. If you hover over the information button here, you'll see that it was last synced 10 hours ago by us. So if I click on sync insights here, um, I will get a little notification saying that I will receive another notification once the sync process is done. And while we wait for that, we will be seeing syncing in progress. Now, as soon as this finishes, we will get the little one here on the notification bell. And then when we click on that, as you can see, we'll be able to get a message and, and clicking on that message, insights have been successfully synced, will take us back to this page where it will be refreshed. Um, and where we go to search for LinkedIn, we will see the refreshed analytics for LinkedIn for the specific account that we chose. So now we're back here on Poplar after we clicked on the message button. And if I go to search for LinkedIn and then choose LinkedIn, I will see that everything was synced accordingly for the last month. Now, of course, this has happened because we also do it automatically. So if I want to sync the insights for the whole team on Publer, so for the insights team that I'm currently on, then I can just click on sync insights and it will sync them for all of the accounts that I have on this team, on this workspace. Now let's take a look at what it would look like if we were to export the PDF for the team, for this team. Um, I want to make a little modification, so let's go at the end here and let's choose to have our posts show from lowest to highest reach accordingly. So that when we are on the PDF report, we can see it in a better, more clear light. Now this will be too long because it is the team report. Um, but just for the case of the example, let's just do that. As you can see, there's a lot more analytics for the whole team, of course, because it's a little bit more general. So if I click on export to PDF, um, the same thing will happen. I will get a notification. And as soon as that is ready, there will be a one here on the notification bell. When you click on that one, you can click on the PDF report is ready message, and that will take you to another page. You'll be able to see how um, the metrics were for this specific period from the 1st of November to the 30th of November for all of these accounts. So for the accounts on the insights team. So this is like a general view that if you want, you can set to a specific client, depending on, on what team you're using or to all of your team members of that team. Um, and you can you can take a look at all of the analytics, how many posts were posted, how many failed, which in this case were none. And also you can see them based on reach. So all the posts ranked based on how much reach they all had and so on. You know, um, the list is quite long because there were quite a few posts for the whole team, but you can definitely see all of them in one place. And that's about it when it comes to PDF reports on Publer. Um, so yeah, very simple way to keep track of everything in a very neat and organized way. I find this is a great, great feature, especially when you want to share um, either specific reports for a specific account or general reports for the whole team and for, the, for all of the accounts to your clients or to other businesses. Something else you can do with analytics on Publer and with reports specifically is automate them. So what you can do is if we go to settings here and then if we go to notifications, we can scroll down to the end and choose how frequently we want to get PDF reports. So they will be automatically sent to our email. We can choose to get them weekly, monthly or not at all. So if you prefer to download them on Publer, you can choose this and simply save it. So something else you can do with analytics is also while keeping track of which posts performed best. So for example, this is one of the posts that had the highest reach. Um, you can also choose to reshare these posts. You can also choose to view the post on Facebook. Um, and here, if I click on share, I am automatically redirected to the create page where I can again, share this article. Um, I can maybe save it as a draft for the future, just so that I can keep track of, you know, one of my best posts or I can share them in other social accounts as well. So say we also want to share this for LinkedIn. 
and yeah, just basically recycle it in a way. So yeah, that's everything you can do with analytics on Publer. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's anything else you would like to know about. And thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.